you know, most of the popular languages that we have, like Java, C++, C Sharp, stuff like that, they actually have committees of nerds, <clears throat> of people that really actually look at the language and try to do updates and changes and stuff like that. And that's what this circle is supposed to represent, is that we have the users and implementers, and then we have our eternal evaluators, and all of these different bug reports and then updating. These are all things that are supposed to happen over and over again when we use the programming language that we're hoping that's going to be used for quite a while. C++ and the history of all of this, it's gone through a lot of iterations, and I'll zoom in here so you can see some of it, but it's gone through a lot of iterations and a lot of updates, and it continues. As a matter of fact, I think it stops at 2018. There's been a 20 and 21. So notice it's every few years they double check and see what's going on with the language. But that's what should be happening behind the scenes with your language. For example, I love PHP. Oh, it's, it's definitely dwindled here in the last few years. But my point is, is that every few years they have a nice conference, usually in Paris or something kind of nice, that they have a whole bunch of people come together in a conference and go over new additions and all that. That's what you want out of a programming language. But here's the bad part. As you well know, if there's any changes, that means the grammar is probably going to change. Now, most likely the basics that you're going to have, like a for loop in C++ and Java, are probably not going to change. But it does mean there's going to be some additions and there might be some other minor changes that you did not expect. Maybe some memory saving or some ways of calling other functions or polymorphism, adding some features to that. So it's all things that you have to think about. Now, here's the worst part. You don't have to program it. Think about the poor souls that have actually got to program this in here. That's creating a grammar and a parser and everything else like that that we're about to go over on making sure that those changes work and work correctly in the update each time that we have a language. And that is a massive task.